episode 582 of 360 Wrestling Fanatic is dedicated to the memory of Ole Anderson, who passed away at the age of 81 years old. Of course, Ole Anderson is probably most remembered for being one of the original members of the Four Horsemen. Also, along with his brother Gene, the Minnesota Wrecking Crew, definitely a legend in the wrestling business. And once again, this episode of 360 Wrestling Fanatic is dedicated to the memory of Ole Anderson. Right here tonight on 360 Wrestling Fanatic after a big wrestling weekend. Going to talk about tonight's WWE Monday Night Raw. And also touch on some of the news going on in the world of pro wrestling. Right here, right now, 360 Wrestling Fanatic. Hello wrestling fanatics, welcome to 360 Wrestling Fanatic tonight. I am your host Lance Brock, thank you everyone for tuning in on this Monday night. Unfortunately, had to start off this Monday night episode with some sad news, as you heard at the top of the podcast, the passing of one of the original members of the Four Horsemen, Ole Anderson, and it was mentioned tonight on Raw by Michael Cole, and they put up a graphic, I know it was announced on Ricky Morton's Facebook page and I was young when I first started watching Ole Anderson as a wrestler anyway. I know he was also a booker for quite a long time too but I was young when he was still wrestling as a part of the horseman but I did go back and watch VHS tapes and watch a lot of the horseman stuff. And one that I always remember and when I watched this, I remember hating the four horsemen at the time. And it was when they kicked Sting out of the four horsemen. I will definitely always remember that. Terry Funk was interviewing him at the time, actually. At, at the time, wasn't the original Four Horsemen, but at the time it was Ric Flair, of course, Arn Anderson, Ole Anderson, and Sting. And they were managed by J.J. Dillon, 
or I think they might have been. I don't remember him being in the ring at the time, but. And Oli Redolph announces that Sting is out of the horsemen. And there was a couple times where they were actually going to attack him, lay him out. But Rick Fire bought him some time. And then Sting signed a contract to fight, to, sorry, to face Ric Flair for the World Championship. And that pretty much sealed the deal. And Sting grabbed Oli's arm. And then Flair and Arn attacked Sting. And left him lane. And then, of course, that led to the legendary Sting and Ric Flair feud. But Ole Anderson, though, definitely a true legend in the wrestling business. 81 years old. And tonight we had WWE Monday Night Raw. And Raw was live from the SAP Center from San Jose, California. Our commentators tonight, Michael Cole and Pat McAfee. Tonight on Raw, we have all the fallout from this past Saturday's Elimination Chamber Premium Live event. And some of the matches that we saw tonight on Raw. Sami Zayn defeated Shinsuke Nakamura. Raquel Rodriguez defeating Chelsea Green. Whose partner Piper Niven I saw earlier is out dealing with an injury. Imperium Luve Geyser and Giovanni Vinci defeated the New Day in a street fight. Sheena Baszler and Zoe Stark defeated Indy Harwell and Candice LeRae. Nia Jax defeated Liv Morgan via disqualification. And in the main event of Raw tonight, the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes defeated Grayson Waller with Austin Theory in his corner. After the match, Cody Rhodes is in the ring and then Paul Heyman comes out and comes out with a few friends of his that say they're Officers from the NYPD that are off duty. Then he says they've been suspended. And Cody is in the ring. And Heyman is on the apron. The policemen get in the ring. And then Cody ends up attacking all three of them with a chair. And Paul Heyman exits the ring. Once again, Cody challenges The Rock. And as Paul Heyman is walking up the entrance ramp, he pulls out two phones. The first one, the usual one, with the Bloodline iPhone case. He says, call Roman Reigns. And the second phone that he pulls out on the case of the iPhone has the Brahma Bowl. And he says, call the rock while Cody is in the ring. Paul Heyman is talking on both phones, trying to explain, I guess, to... Roman Reigns and The Rock, what happened 
tonight on Raw. So that was tonight's WWE Monday Night Raw. And in just my opinion, I would not say this was a bad episode of Raw, but I also wouldn't say that it was really that great of an episode either. It was, in my opinion anyway, just kind of there. Wasn't bad, but wasn't that great either. And before I wrap up this episode of the podcast, Ronda Rousey has been announced for WrestleCon in Philadelphia, taking place WrestleMania weekend. So if you're going to Philly for WrestleMania, you're probably going to want to go to WrestleCon maybe get an autograph from Ronda Rousey. And before I started the podcast, I was actually on High Spots and the mail-ins are now available. So if you have something of Ronda Rousey, whether it's one of the WWE action figures or one of the train cards or... I don't like UFC, but maybe something from her time there. You can send in, get it signed. Once again, that is available at highspotsauctions.com. And speaking of high spots, this Thursday at 5 p.m., High Spots has Sign It Live. This week's guest, Double A. Arn Anderson, you can go right now to highspots dot or highspotsauctions dot com. Sorry about that. Get your autographed Arn Anderson items, eight by tens. There's WCW trading cards available, and one eight by ten that's really cool is the Four Horsemen. Not signed by Oli, but it is signed by Arn, Ric Flair, Lex Luger, Tully Blanchard, and J.J. Dillon. The price is $250, but hey, if you have an extra $250, might as well get an awesome 8x10 signed by some true legends in pro wrestling. And Nick Namath, the new IWGP Global World Champion, will defend that title against Hiroshi Tanahashi at New Japan Pro Wrestling Sakura Genesis. And that is about it for all the pro wrestling news that I have for this episode of 360 Wrestling Fanatic. Thank you everyone for listening tonight. I appreciate everyone who listens. Remember in the comment section... Leave your thoughts and your opinions on tonight's WWE Monday Night Raw. And you, while you're there, you can make your early predictions for this Sunday's AEW Revolution pay-per-view. I will be talking to everyone tomorrow morning. For the Tuesday episode of Good Morning Wrestling Fans. So hope everyone who is listening right now will also join me in the morning. 
And once again, I just want to say rest in peace to the legendary Ole Anderson. And I'll talk to everyone in the morning. I am Lance, and I am a wrestling fanatic.